Hey folks, how are you guys doing? Hope you're all having a great day today and welcome to the first video in a product tour series. Now, this is slightly different than my tool talk series because all of the tool talk videos were covering the tools in my shop, answering commonly asked questions about those tools after I've had a lot of use and experience with those tools. This series is about new stuff. So it's a product tour, an introduction of new stuff to all of you and uh, just the goal of this is to just basically answer the question, does it do what it is advertised to do? Very simple. This is a mini DIY CNC router and they call it, an, they basically call it an engraver. And I guess that's the best way to look at it. This is an engraver. It's not something that can do crazy CNC work. It's a mini desktop machine. And if you come into it with that approach and with that perspective, it does, honestly, it does exactly what it's designed to do. It's a mini engraver. The frame material is aluminum, PVC, and plastic. There are some 3D printed parts, and those were printed quite well, actually. The rated power for the machine is 60 watts, and the no-load speed on the spindle is 6,000 RPMs. The machine size is approximately 430 millimeters square for the footprint and 330 millimeters for the height. The working area, or the area that you can cut in, is about 240 millimeters by 170 millimeters with a height or material thickness of 65 millimeters. All right, so if you guys don't know, this is my good friend Jeremy. He's been helping me out in the shop, and I wanted to bring him in specifically with this project because I have experience with the Shapeoko 2 CNC router, the or CNC machine, the X-Carve CNC machine, both assembling and operating both of those. I wanted to set my experience and my bias aside and have him do most of this because other up until two days ago, you had no CNC experience Nothing. at all. Didn't even know what G-code was. And so. then now, he's plenty capable of going from idea to cut in just a little bit of time yep. all on his own, which is, which is fantastic. Um, so let's talk about the good and the bad of this. And then, uh, we have something else to add to at the end. So the good, it does what it says it's supposed to do. It, 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 it engraves. Now, if you want, if you're thinking of it as a machine to prototype and cut out a lot of parts, um, it's kind of underpowered, the spindle is anyway. I'm sure that can be upgraded, but as it is out of the box, it's an engraver. And if you, yeah. if you approach it with that mentality of it being an engraver to do you know, stuff like this, then it does what it's, what it's supposed to do. The other benefit is it's relatively inexpensive. Now I've checked the price on this from the place we got it, and it's varied at different times based upon sales. Uh, the highest I saw it was $259. But as of right now, I'm looking at their website and it's $199, it's on sale. So it goes back and forth. So $199 for something that you can engrave and make little personalized items, oh, yeah. that, that's it, not it, bad. It, no, it does great for any kind of little stuff, like especially names and texts and gift box stuff like that. Oh man, it would do great. It, yeah. it cuts super clean with that stuff. So the good also, we we... Once we had the software up and running, which I'll get to the, some of the cons in just a second, uh, but once we had the software up and running, we can use a couple different programs to generate G-code. It works flawlessly with uh, Easel software, Inventables Easel software. You can create your design, set your spindle speed, uh, set your, for it to automatically yeah. power on the spindle, and generate a G-code out of Easel and plug it into, which one is this? Is this the CNCC. CNCC, that's the better of the two software. That's, uh, the software that come in the little download package or zip file with this stuff, the CNCC to me is the better one. Uh, so, we had a lot of trouble with the other one. So it runs with CNCC. It also has a download for uh, the control software GRBL controller, which we didn't have as much luck with. Yeah, um, it, it was just too glitchy off of it. it. Some of the controls and the interface was funny. We couldn't get it drawn right. So yeah. this, the CNCC is the way to go with this particular one. So, yeah, that's that's the con. It's inexpensive. It uh, that's I'm sorry, that's all the pros. It's inexpensive. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, and, yeah, so the downside, uh, the, the cons here. It's inexpensive. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, the assembly was kind of a nightmare. It took oh, us gosh. from 11 a.m. till about 4.30-ish. Yeah, it was like five or six hours to get it together. Yeah, the, the assembly was uh, the instructions. It's one of those things, like, the instructions are kind of in another language, and then they're also 
multi-purpose instructions. So I imagine yeah. they have a very similar machine that is tweaked just slightly that shares the same set of instructions. And I imagine the same thing with the hardware. Yep. I, I would bet that between all the little engravers and CNC machines they sell on this little website here, I would almost say they probably all come with the same instructions. They're pretty close to it. Maybe so. And then also the uh, the hardware kit is kind of a universal hardware kit. So yeah. we had a lot of extra stuff that kind of leaves your, leaves your head scratching like, what did we mess something up? <laughs> yeah. Did we forget oh, something? We, we watched for about 20 minutes making sure we didn't miss screws. <laughs> yeah. So the, the assembly was kind of long. The uh, software, it took us forever to get the software actually up and running, mainly because it's all in Chinese. Most of it's in Chinese. Yeah. The vast majority of it's in Chinese. So it's a lot of click and hope and click and hope and and click this and try this and 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 try that and Lots uh of trial and error it's kind of a nightmare to get the software up and running so i approached this as i thought okay well it's a small machine we could probably get assembled and get some test pieces cut and actually shoot a video on it in the same day and we, here we are the next day yeah and uh yeah it's it's uh it took way more time than what we thought that being said it's up and running it's working now um, after the initial bugs and everything's been working out, worked out, it's, it does exactly what it's, what it's supposed to do. One thing I did want to point out is I had the, I don't know, just the thought in my head that this is an engraver, so it should be able to cut brass, engrave into brass for like little project tags or plaque tags. And I thought that would be interesting and convenient. It can't cut metal. This is basically for wood, plastic, acrylic, PCB, and other like materials. And we had to slow the feed rate. What was the feed rate you got the best results with? Uh, the feed rate in this program, in CNCC, the feed rate I got best was about 120 millimeters per minute. 120 uh, millimeters yeah, per minute. Not very fast. Feed speed. So that did slow things down, but with our testing, it also greatly increased the uh, the quality, the of, quality the cut. of the cut. And it is the the software controls the spindle as well. So uh, with this, we were able to get it running and then go do something else while it finishes and come back and it's just sitting there idle, not you know running the spindle by itself with no one around it. So that was nice as well. A little bit of full disclosure here. I did not receive any money to make this video or this article and I'm not being asked to say anything good or bad about it. Uh, I was approached by a company who wanted to get a little bit of exposure on this and I said, you know what, we can work something out. Let's send uh, one unit for us, which I'm not going to keep. Jeremy's actually going to keep this. So if you want to see you know, a little bit more stuff on this or contact him directly, then follow him on his Instagram. At, I guess he'll put it on the screen right there. And um, uh, th I also said, send us one. He's going to keep it. Send us a second one that we can give away to any one of you out there who want one. So if you're interested in getting one of these for free, we do have one of them to give away. All of the uh, information regarding that will be in a link in the description if you are watching this on YouTube. So check that out if you want to win one of these for free. Um, but that's it. Little product tour, product introduction. And um, thanks for watching. You guys take care. Have a great day. And we'll talk to you on the next video. Oh, good. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> Superstar. Superstar. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, All right. I love our job. <laughs>